Now, your news on the go. Police are still investigating Saturday night shooting on the near west side that left nine people wounded, including a teenager in critical condition. Onondaga County DA Bill Fitzpatrick says as many as six gang members were firing guns that night. With so many people at a party there, hundreds of them, detectives are hoping more witnesses can come forward to piece together what happened. Today is primary day here in New York State. Your time to head to the polls and vote on some competitive state and federal races. The polls opened at 6. They'll be open until 9 o'clock tonight. Of course, at the top of the ticket, Joe Biden has already secured the Democratic presidential nomination. So the key races to focus on, among them, the 24th and 22nd congressional district primaries. Onondaga County Executive Ryan McMahon says that this region is more than ready to enter phase four of the restart process. He says no deaths were reported in Onondaga County yesterday. The death toll stands at 180. Guidelines have now been released for colleges and universities in New York if they want to reopen and bring students back to campus in September. Colleges, including two-year schools, medical schools, and technical schools, all part of phase four. We know at least they'll recover, uh, require face coverings when you're within six feet of another person on campus, at least someone you don't live with. And each school must come up with a plan for students who are exposed to or infected with COVID-19. SU has already decided it will suspend all of its study abroad programs for the upcoming fall semester. They're just too concerned about continued international travel restrictions. Right now, the university is only considering the possibility of opening SU abroad centers for limited residential programming for first-year students living outside the U.S. and unable to return.